Howdy. Happy Tuesday. Uh, we're going to be doing some more multiplication. We are doing three by three now. So uh, numbers, very exciting numbers, such as 137 times 624. Three by three, three by three, and you would see a three by three area model would have how many rows and columns? That's right, it would be a three by three. Okay. Uh, we're not going to take a lot of time today, but uh, we're going to work through a couple of these. Here we go, 624 times 172. Now, I could put this up here, 620 and 4, my expanded notation, right, all along here. And I could work out, I could multiply these, that's 1 times 6 and 4 zeros, 1 times 2 and 3 zeros, 100 times 4, 1 times 4, 400, right? I could do that, I uh, work that out, no problem, keep doing it. I don't want to do that. I want to do the standard algorithm. It's faster. It's more efficient. It's cleaner. Uh, it's neater. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to start right here, right? And I'm going to multiply all these things. 4 times 2 is 8. 2 times 2 is 4. And 2 times 6 is 12. Good. X's and O's. Now I'm going through my 7. 7 times 4, 7 times 2, 7 times 6. I like that when the middle one, it kind of looks like a W or a crown. Uh, 7 times 4 is 28. Carry my 2. 7 times 2 is 14. Plus the 2 is 16. 7 times 6, that's a tough one for me, but uh, 42 plus 1 is 43. Very good. Uh, now I've got two X's. What do you think I need to start this next partial product with? Well, if I have two X's, guess what? I get two O's, because now I'm multiplying through in the hundreds place. Okay? 100 times anything is going to end with two zeros. So let's just put them in there and make life easy. Okay? Now, 1 times 4, 1 times 2, 1 times 6. 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 2 is 2, and 6 times 1 is 6. Add all these up. These are all my partial products. 8, 12, carry my 1, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, carry another 1, 2, 5, 7, no need to carry, 6 and 4, ooh, there you go, 107,328, 107,328, I know, it's a lot of little, very little small steps, so, here, I wanted to show this to you because this is very interesting to me. Okay. We're going to focus on multiplying. We're going to focus. We're going to look at the same two numbers multiplied together, 507 times 268. But I want you to see what happens when we have a zero in the top versus a zero in the second factor. Okay, changes things up just a little bit. Okay, so I want us to see that. I'm going to do these fairly quickly. Okay, you could come back. You could slow this down if you're watching on the YouTube's. Okay, but I'm going to do it fairly quickly. Okay. So I'm going to use standard algorithm. So I'm going to multiply each digit times each one. 8 times 7 is 56. Carry my 5. 8 times 0 is 0. Plus 5 is 5. 8 times 5 is 40. X's and O's. 6 times 7 is 42. 6 times 0 is 0. Plus 4 is 4. 6 times 5 is 30. 2 X's. 2 O's. 2 times 7 is 14. Carry that 1. 2 times 0 is 0. Plus the 1 is 1. And 2 times 5 is 10. Add all these up. I get a 6, a 7, an 8, a 5, a 3, and a 1. I know they're all kind of quirky down here uh, when I get to the bottom because I run out of room. Okay. Now, let's do it. This was a 0 in the top factor. Now let's do it with a zero in the second factor. Let's see how this changes things. Uh, again, seven times eight is 56, carry my five. Seven times six is 42, plus the five would be 47. Seven times two is 14, plus the four is 18. X's and O's, but looky here. I'm going to multiply that zero through times everything. What's anything times zero? Zero groups of anything is going to be zero. I don't even need to waste my time or my ink or my electricity to do that. 
everything's going to be zero, so why even bother? Two X's, two O's. See that? I'm only going to end up with two partial products down here, aren't I? Instead of over here, I had three. Again, the same numbers being multiplied together. I'm just doing it in different order, aren't I? I've just changed the order. And some people like that. Some people only like to do two partial products down here. Sometimes some people get confused when the zero's down here and they don't understand. Some people will go ahead and write zero times eight is zero, zero times six is zero, zero times two is zero, and they'll write all that out. You don't have to. That doesn't make it much sense to me. Okay. I've multiplied through by the seven. Zero is going to produce zero. Now I'm multiplying through by 500, so I need the two zeros down here. Two x's, two o's. Five times eight is 40. Five times six is 30, plus four is 34. Five times two is 10, plus three is 13. Now then, let's see if I get the same answer. Five, three, one. One, three, five, eight, seven, six. Yes! Got it, okay? Again, the zero's in the different parts. Up here, it's in the first factor. Over here, it's in the second factor. Okay. This was every time we got times zero, it was zero, and we just took the uh, uh, part that we carried. Over here, we were able to cross out. As soon as I was done with the seven, I did two X's and two O's. I ended up with just two partial products. Word problem. Pause so you can write the word problem in your journal. <clears throat> yes, I'm still expecting to see journals, and yes, I will collect them. Um, Probably I'll start collecting them. I may try to get them in just Thursday and Friday, so I've got four days this uh, weekend to get through them. Uh, the grading period is over this week, uh, at the end of this week, so I'd like to get another grade in there for your math journals. So um, I will try to get those uh, collected at the end of this week. As of, 2000, as of 2010, the census uh, said that 829 people lived in Bergen. I just made these numbers up, but Bergen is a small town. Uh, Lexington had 534 times as many. The question is, how many more lived in Lexington? This is a two-step problem. Okay? I know how many live in Bergen, but I don't know how many live in Lexington yet. But they've given me some information to figure that out. The information is 829 people in Bergen. Lexington has 534 times as many. So here we go. Step one, I need to know how many there are in Lexington. So to do that, I need to multiply this out. I'm going to do a standard algorithm. Okay, 4 times 9 is 36. 4 times 3 is 12. Plus 3 is 15. 4 times 8 is 32. 33 X's and O's. That is an O. 3 times 9 is 27. 3 times 3 is 9, 10, 11. 3 times 8 is 24. 1 is 25. Now, then, two X's, two O's, five times nine is 45, five times three is 15, plus four is 19, five times eight is 40, 41, six, two, one, five, 10, that's four, nine, and nine is 18, and that is four, four. So. 448,026 people live in Lexington, but that's not the final answer. Why? Because the question was not how many people live in Lexington. The question was how many more lived in Lexington. So that means I'm going to compare two values. How do we compare two values? We have to do the subtraction. We have to find the difference. Okay? So 448, this is step one here. 400, uh, Boy, that was really poorly done, wasn't it? Uh, 448,026 in Lexington, 839 in Bergen, and I have to do the subtraction, and I got to borrow. Oh my goodness, this is terrible, uh, but we're going to try. Uh, I'm going to borrow from here, from two, from, so that would be one. That would make that 16 minus nine would be seven. Ah, one, I can't do that. Here I've got to borrow from 10, that's, oh, this is not easy to do. Uh, that's going to be 79, and that's going to be 11, 
That's eight, nine, minus eight is one. Ah, finally, I get to some easier numbers. Okay, 447,187. That would be the difference. Two-step problem. Okay. Be careful on those. All right, I know it's a lot of little steps. I didn't give you a lot of problems on your homework today, and I, I did most, I either did the standard algorithm or the area model for you for most all of it, okay? I think I left one where you had to do everything yourself, okay? Because I know they take a long time, okay? Get yourself, if you're not good on your multiplication facts, get yourself a multiplication chart, okay? Um, so that you can take a look at it. I'll put it, I'll put one uh, in with our assignments or in with the materials. I'll put it on the stream somewhere. I'll put you a, a copy if you need to open that up in a separate tab you know, so that you can figure it out. Uh, you need to get your multiplication facts down, but if you don't have them, I don't want you to struggle and get so frustrated. So I'll provide a, a multiplication chart for you uh, so that you can work these out. Okay. Take care. Have a good day. Bye.